Hello everyone, I'm Andy Bourne, and welcome to the fourth and last episode of the Soka Toa series, Understanding Tangent. So in this video, you'll see how to use the tangent key, the inverse tangent key, the tangent functions, uh, I should say, when working with right triangles. This means you can find missing side lengths and unknown angles. Good stuff. Okay, let me try this little blackboard thing. Okay, before we go uh, too headlong into tangent, there's two quick things I'd like to review so you'll be in good shape to know uh, what to calculate later. First, we're using the TOA part of SOKA TOA. TOA helps you to remember that the tangent of an angle equals the opposite over the adjacent side lengths. Um, now, to make sure we're all on the same page, using tangent in this way applies only to right triangles where one of the three interior angles is 90 degrees and it's a special meaning in math it has nothing to do with being correct or positioned to the right um, uh, <laughs> yeah but I digress second thing another thing to review we'll need to be good at solving proportions and the best way to do that is using a cross product uh, think of it as putting two ratios next to each other with an equal sign. Uh, cross product can be used to solve for x, your unknown, without too much hassle. Uh, like this one below. Uh, make a cross here and a cross here and set up the equation like this. Solve for x and there you go. That's a cross product. Okay, and now for the main event, let's work with tangent. Now, this is a key concept, a very important thing. If you have any two pieces of information in your triangle, you can find out the third. This means that if you've got a side and an angle, you can find the other side. If you have a side and another side, you can definitely find the angle. It's a thing of beauty. Okay, so here we have a triangle, a right triangle and I'm going to label the vertices capital A, B, C and I'm going to label the sides lowercase a, b, c. The reason you want to do this is so that uh, you can uh, intelligently talk about like what you're going to find and you can say you know here angle A is 48 degrees and side little a is 5.2 centimeters. So we've got our opposite side and we have our adjacent side which is what we want to find and we've got an angle so let's see how we can use tangent for this one okay so let's start off by writing down the relationship it's tangent a which is the angle it's gonna be 48 is equal to opposite over adjacent let's fill in what we know and here is where you want to use a scientific calculator now before you do any calculating you want to be sure that your calculator is in the proper mode for angle when you use tangent and so forth so it has to be in degrees mode and the reason is because uh, degrees was a unit measure given in the original problem once you've verified you got your calculator in the right mode you can go ahead and punch in tangent 48 Okay, back to the drawing board. So we're going to replace tangent 48 with the calculated result, 1.1106. I like to use four digits. And then we're going to put a 1 underneath that. And then we can use, you guessed it, a cross product to solve this. So we're going to use a cross product to find the value of B. Let's not forget, B is the side length of a triangle. We're looking for a side length. Now just one moment here while I clear things up so you can see how we're going to do that. So here's the cross product in action. It's a little bit of algebra, but it's not too bad. 1.1106 multiplied by b is equal to 5.2 multiplied by 1. So then you divide both sides by 1.1106 in order to get b all by itself. And you solved for b. Oh yeah, and don't forget to label your answer in the proper units, centimeters. Okay, now let's take a look at using inverse tangent. 
Now I did say a few minutes ago that if you had two sides of a triangle that you could find the angle. In a way it's sort of like working backwards. So we're going to use inverse tangent for this problem. Here's the question set up. It's a what angle is the sun kind of problem. I see this one a lot. Okay so here it is. A flagpole is 10 meters high. It's casting a shadow 7 meters long. What is the angle formed at the base where the tip of the shadow falls? So if you're an astronomy geek or an old-timey navigation uh, kind of geek that uh, has a sextant, then you know that this angle is called the altitude. Um, it's kind of cool. The position of objects in the sky, like the sun and stars and whatnot, can be described by their altitude and azimuth, which is a different lesson for a different day. Okay, so back to this one. Okay, so here's our right triangle again. We have a 10 meter uh, high flagpole and a 7 meter long shadow along the ground. And we are going to use TOA from the Soka TOA, T-O-A, which helps us to remember tangent is equal to opposite over adjacent. So the opposite side length in this case is 10 and the adjacent side length here is 7. So we're going to write tangent x is equal to 10 over 7. Okay, now I want you to take a look at the board here. I've spaced things out a little bit and you'll see why in just a moment. We want to, in a manner of speaking, get rid of the tangent so that just x is left. When x is all by itself, then we'll have the angle measure. So we are going to use inverse tangent to quote unquote get rid of the tangent and then x will be by itself. It'll be great. So you can uh, write it down this way and then uh, do it on the calculator. Now on your calculator you might have to use an inverse key or a second key in order to access that inverse tangent. There it is. And so our answer to this question is 55 degrees. Be sure that you label your units or at least write down the word or make that little degree symbol. Okay, good deal. We are done with this video. You learned how to use tangent and inverse tangent. Recall, tangent is used when you have an angle measure and a side length and you need to find a missing side length. And inverse tangent is when you have two sides of the triangle and you need to find the angle measure. Thanks so much for watching.